Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you um, a journal that I've completed and actually trying out a new camera angle as well because if you can see the camera, I think it's wobbling, I've just nudged it. <laughs> um, I've got a new extendable arm thing, not on my body, <laughs> that doesn't happen, um, but something I can attach to my desk and I can actually do an overhead video rather than it being like the opposite way around. I can actually read things right around, right around the right way. So anyway, um, this journal um is a clasp envelope journal i have whoops just nudged it again so you're not used to this this um this angle i've used a napkin and i've more podged that on there and i keep nudging this camera i do apologize uh it's one signature um it's the you know it's been mod podged on and also it's had two coats of mod podge um just got some uh, trim here that's been coffee dyed and some um, bling on there as well uh, the image here that I found from Pinterest and I've just added some um, stickles onto her flowers and on this flower here <clears throat> I've used some book page um, as some backing because I've got so many well it's actually a dictionary page I've got so many dictionaries that I've picked up for journaling um, so I need to start using them and I just used my decorative scissors to go around the edges. I have seen these really, really cool rulers that you can get to. I think um, the first time I actually saw it was on one of um, Laurie's videos. And it's got the kind of um, like decorative sides to it. And I'm not quite sure how you work them. But they look really cool. I'll have to have a look for one of them. This actually measures 8 inches by 5 inches. There is two signatures. I honestly can't remember how many pages are in here. The um, seam binding isn't connected anywhere like on the page so it can be taken off or you can um, kind of weave it through the... <clears throat> oh, I managed to get that in a knot, didn't I? You can kind of weave it through there, um, but it does come off. Uh, this will be listed on my Etsy. So let's do a flip. Um, made a pocket here with um, like the extra from the actual envelope rather than cutting it off and wasting it I've just popped just folded it over and it says here live love laugh it's one of my favorite stamps at the moment um, this paper I've designed myself here we've got um, some tags and they've got the definition stamps on there and a envelope here here we've just got some uh, flower flower banner with some um, tickets and a large journaling card. Got a pocket there and it says follow your dreams and inside here there's just some scrap um, coffee dyed paper to journal on. Um, here is uh, just like a half page and I've just popped in two tags. These are actually index cards and I've just cut them down to small tag size. Here we've got a, a tuck, I'm getting a central frame here, um, some stamping, this is a paper bag and I've just used it as a large pocket and have I, I'm not sure if I've, yeah and I've left it open at the back, so you've got two slots there. Oh, I feel like I'm all standing funny to do this I'm going to try and move yeah. it's really strange doing it at a different angle another pocket here um, and it says true friends are, are like diamonds so you can put something in there middle of the signature first signature and I've just popped on these little um, punched out hearts that everyone seems to be doing um, it does tidy up nicely in the middle um, but also I do like it if it's tied in a bow and, a bowl and just dangled down. But that is a nice little effect. Uh, some more paper. A, oh, I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Um, maybe I'll go back to my old <clears throat> my old camera angle. Um, here we've got a, a pocket. Um, these is, this is just decorative. Um, and some more tags. Another journaling card in here, and this flips up for some extra journaling space. Um, some of these, um, well, all of these pockets have 
Um, I've used the Martha Stewart punch on there. So an envelope there and it's open there so you can <clears throat> you've got like a double space there for adding things. This is the um, second signature and this is just stuck down and we've got two small journaling cards there. Another <coughs> double tucky spot place there. Um, that's one. Of, that's the same paper bag that I used um, back here. Only this this one I folded up, and inside um, here I've actually put some card stock as well, so it kind of strengthens that up. So you've got a tuck there, a tuck there, and a tuck there. So there's lots of places to tuck. Another pocket here. Center of the signature. And this opens up the journaling space. Another tuck here. Whoops, just done a wobble again. And some more just coffee dyed paper. And this just this is just plain and you can tuck things inside there. And that's the actual uh, the kind of the fold over on the envelope. But I've kind of reinforced it with um, some it was a lightweight card um, to obviously to just to give it some strength and the back is like so so that is that journal i've got a few more videos to do so this will be fun doing it with this thing gadget that i've got <laughs> um like i said this will be listed on my etsy and the links will be below if you're interested and if you have any questions just ask thanks for watching bye